Mr. Wobbles. Hi, buddy. How are you, huh? We're gonna do a video? Yeah? You wanna do a video? Do ya? What do you wanna do it on? <coughs> yeah? All right, let's do a video. Uh-huh. You wanna do it on the manometers? Is that it? Oh, yes. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. All right. All right. So, this is Jim with Measure Quick. Waffles wanted to do a video today, and we're gonna do it on the on the new field piece JL3 MN manometers. We just got them in the other day. They're pretty little, pretty slick little things there. A um, little bit different than a, a lot of the manometers we've seen before. Uh, in fact, I think they're the only one that I've seen that's using an absolute pressure sensor on them. So you notice these are only one port on here. Uh, they come in a two pack, so you can get supply and return at the same time. I'd recommend you buy them as a, as a pair because you, that's really the best way to use them with a measure quick. This has got an absolute pressure transducer or an absolute pressure sensor. So it's a little bit different in the fact that instead of referencing atmospheric pressure or the relative pressure in a room, it's measuring an absolute pressure or vacuum behind it. So, you know, it's just like a regular manometer. You can pop off the tube and, you know, put a different uh, hoses on it, things like that. But it, it, uh, it, it comes with the static pressure tips built on. And most of the time you won't take these off unless you're doing things like adjusting gas pressure or things like that. So nice magnet on the back, uh, magnetic static pressure tip, and it's come in a little bag with a bunch of extra fittings and things. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice presentation, so I was uh, actually pleasantly surprised to see all that. Now when you're using these things, a uh, couple of different things that are interesting on here. We did build a zeroing feature in the measure quick, which I'll show you, but if you want to zero these, you just tap on the power button, it'll flash blue a couple times, and it shows you that the uh, that it's been zeroed out, and you only, you only do that when it's out of the airstream, so we can test it. Now, the static pressure uh, tip is probably one of my favorite features on here. We'll just stick the manometer up here, a really nice strong magnet on the back. When you put this on here, it does have a red arrow here, and you wanna have the arrow parallel to the airstream. So typically you point the tip so it's going into the airstream, but it really won't make any difference whether it's that way or we were to flip this thing all the way around and it was this way, as long as it's parallel to the airstream. So in this case here, I'm pointing it towards the airstream, which is the ideal way. If you ever got on a, like an airplane or something, you'll actually see a pitot tube that usually like points into the airstream. And, but here, I couldn't get it pointed into the airstream because the filter's there, so I have it pointed the opposite direction, right? So you can see I got one in the supply and I've got one in the return. Now, let me show you on the application here some other interesting things with these. Um, because they are absolute pressures, if we go into the toolbox here and look at these, you'll see the return air st uh, static is negative 0.260, supply air static is 0.118. So you can see that uh, each one of these things is measuring uh, um, you know, positive or negative, in other words, positive pressure in the supply duct, negative pressure in the return duct, and then we're calculating, obviously, the total external static pressure measure quick. So very, very easy to use. You can also map these to the return air, supply air, inlet gas pressure, manifold pressure, draft pressure, induced draft pressure, CAS pressure, you can clear the mapping. We did take the resolution out a little bit further, so we're in actually thousandths of an inch of water column uh, because the manometer was really stable at even the low readings. So we're a little bit different resolution the, than the uh, field piece application. You'll see that they go to the hundredths on theirs. We actually took it out to thousands, so it, it does. It is handy for things like CAS testing and things like that. But it's a really slick, easy to use manometer. Um, again, uh, it does everything you want to do with Measure Quick. So I would highly recommend you get two of them, buy the two pack because it'll just make it easier to use. And um, overall, uh, pretty impressed with the way these things work. And again, uh, they work great with Measure Quick.